All right, we're going to start making a bench project, and this is for an outdoor bench. Um, and this is specific for a student that has requested some help with this. So here we go, we'll give it a whirl. I am making this up as we go, so hopefully if there's times where I have to back up and redo something, that's okay, you'll learn from my mistakes. Okay, so to start with, we're going to start by creating some legs. So the legs on this are going to be made out of two by fours and we're going to have our legs be um, 28 inches long and they're two by four so two by four is one and a half by three and a half. We're going to start with one and a half by three and a half. So 1.5 comma 3.5 enter. This is in the woodworking inches template. We're going to pull that up, so click and release, drag it up, and I said we're making it 28 inches long, so 28, enter. I'm going to zoom out, I zoom extents, and hit my space bar to get my select tool, and I'm going to triple click this quick and make it a component. Anytime you make a piece in SketchUp, you need to make it a component. So we're going to call this leg, make sure that check mark is there, and create. And yes. Next. Next that we're going to do is we're going to edit this component now. Simply because, and we could have done this before making a component, but we're going to cut this on a 45 degree angle. So the few ways that we could do that. Um, easiest way to explain this is that we get our protractor tool out of our large tool set. Click two points. And we're going to drag this down to a 45 degree angle. You know, so that once I click those two points, I can drag it down and then 45, enter. We're going to go ahead and get our pencil tool and we're going to draw that line across. Next, we're going to push this all the way back. So there we go, that's the top of the leg. Now that we've done that, we're going to click off to the side. Now that we got that leg made, we're going to um, copy another one over, I believe, is next. And the distance between them is going to be um, let's go 21 inches. So we're going to then, this is now a component. Components are easy to copy. We're going to copy this in that direction in the green direction 21 enter but you'll notice by doing that the top of this one is backwards so all we need to do is right click on this and we're going to flip along group screen component screen now let's just flip it around the next part that we're going to do is we're going to create the piece that goes between so just simply getting our pencil tool there's many ways to do this but this is probably the easiest way all those points together. We're going to push that back. Come on, come on. 1.5 inches. And then we're going to make that a component. So triple click on it. Make component. We're going to call that the armrest. And we're going to create that. All right. Since this is our whole legs and armrest combined and they kind of work together, we're going to select all of them. So hit control select them all, we're going to make that a group. So now when we go to move them or copy them, they're all going to be one. Alright, next, let's go back to our isometric view or orbit around a bit. And the distance from the ground to the bottom of our seat is going to be 14 and a half inches. So to start with, we're going to use our tape measure tool. Come on, have to zoom in a little. Tape measure. All right, create a guide. Oh, good gravy! Right there. On the blue axes, and we're going to go up 14.5 inches, and that's going to be to the bottom of our seat area. So now we're going to get a rectangle. We're going to work from there vertically. We're going to put a two by four. Um, actually, let's. Just hold on, remember I said we're going to do this a few times where I may not know exactly what our next step is going to be. We're going to create a guide up where that intersects, 14 and a half. 
And we're also going to create another guide from the outside over, um, actually from the inside leg. Let's go from that guideline right there. Let's go over there. Four feet or 48 inches. Enter. And this could change depending on how big of a bench you want to make it. Um, this would be a four foot wide bench. If you want five feet, make this longer. If you want six feet, make it that much longer. All right. Now, going from our intersection, we're going to create a two by four. So we're going to go three point five, comma one point five. Enter, and then we're going to push pull. We're going to pull that across four feet. Enter. Make that a component. We're going to call that our long seat support. We're going to create that. And then we're going to copy that to the opposite side. Remember, move tool, hit control to get copy. And then we're going to copy it from this intersecting point across to that intersection right there. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our cross piece that's going to go between these two points. So we're going to go 1.5 comma, and what is that distance? Ooh, I should have started that first. 21 and a half, so we're going to go 1.5 comma, 21.5, enter. We're going to push that down three and a half inches or even with the other edge. Make that a component. We're going to call that short seat support. I'm going to make sure that it's a component. There we go. Good. Next, we're going to copy that. Remember, move control. Oops. We want to copy that seat support all the way to the opposite end. We're going to do what's called an array now. We're going to divide that space. So if you look at the bottom right corner of the screen, I'm going to go divide, two, enter. And then that adds in a support in the middle. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to now make that all a group. So we're going to hold control with our select tool, select all those pieces, and we're going to make that a group. Now we can also copy, since we made this a, the armrests a group, we can copy these to the opposite side. We're going to copy it down here. Now you notice, just based on where I grabbed it, we're going to have to move that over another inch and a half. So from there, right there. Perfect. So that's our basic frame. Next thing that we're going to do is we could just make this without a back, and that would be one way of doing it. The other thing that we could do is we can make a back, and the student that wanted to have this project wanted to have a back on it. So we're gonna start right with our red, and we're gonna go straight down. I might need to orbit just to get a better angle on this and zoom in a bit more on that space. So we're gonna go from that point to that point. And we want this on about a 15 degree angle, so we're going to type 15, like so. Okay, so there we go. We are now going to, off to the side, uh, let's try it I guess right here. Yeah, we're going to have to make this piece first. So let's go here, so first measurement that we want is going to be um, 3.5 comma and how long do we want that backrest to be let's go with 16.5 inches and I'll try to explain that Oop. let's try that again let's go 16.5 comma 3.5 enter there we go. Now we're going to pull that out 1.5 inches. And 
to change my mind, so we're going to add on another three and a half inches, which are five and yeah, three and a half. So that would give us um, let's add on five more inches. So we're going to pull that up five more inches. There we go. We're now going to make that a component. We'll call that our back support. Create. Just like we did before, we're going to edit this one now, and we could have done this beforehand, but um, we're going to create a 15 degree angle up on the bottom, so 15, we're going to get our pencil tool, this should look familiar, and we're going to push that little piece back away, there we go, and then we're going to copy and do the same thing at the top. There to there and down 15. Enter pencil tool or line tool. Click push pull. Push that away. All right, now we're going to close that component. Clicking off to the side, we're going to select that component, get our rotate tool now, and we are going to this point straight across on the green axes we're going to move that up 15 degrees hit enter there we go okay now this is the hardest point so if it's too hard you can just go without a back I suppose you could have a straight back but that uh, may not may not work the best actually let's just leave it at there uh, So from this point up, we're going to create a guideline up 3.5. That's going to tell us where that edge would be. So we're going to grab that and move that. Oop. We're going to just bear with me here. This point now, and drag that straight down. One of my pet peeves with SketchUp. There, there we go. All right, so that's how that should look. Should be even at the bottom. Pretty, pretty close, if not. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this across to the opposite side. Let's go four feet over. Um, no, not four feet over. Let's grab it right there at that intersection. Boom. Placed. Good. Okay. There we go. Now, the last thing for the back support is we're going to create... Let's, you know, let's try redo that again. We're going to copy that again. Remember how we did our array before? We're going to try that once again. Make sure this is the piece that's being copied. We're gonna place that. We're going to divide by 2, enter. Except now that ends up perfectly in the middle of that, which won't work for us. We're to select that piece. We're going to move this over. Maybe we should have just done this manually instead of doing an array, I guess. There we go. It's a little offset, but that's okay. Like so. All right. So that's our basic frame. And if we want to, we can put a 2 by 4 on top. This probably would be optional, but it's definitely going to make it a lot stronger. It might look a little nicer. So we could go, even a 1x4 would work, but just to keep all our material consistent, um, we're going to go 1.5, comma, 3.5, enter. 
we're going to push that across to the opposite side. And then we're going to make that component, which is going to be our um, back top. Hopefully that makes sense. Back top. Cool. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start filling in our seat boards and our backboards, and then we're done. Other than dimensioning. So I'll let you figure out the dimensioning yourself. We're going to go up over. We're going to go 5.5 comma 1.5 because a 2 by 6 seat board is actually 1.5 by 5.5. We're going to pull that across so it's even. We're going to make that a component. Seat slash back boards. We're going to create that. We're now going to copy that. And we're just going to go like so. Come on. Right there. Tight together. And we're going to go 2x enter. There we go. It leaves a little bit of a gap. So we might end up having to cut another one to fill in there or we can spread those seat boards out a little bit if we want. For now, we're just going to leave that and see how this works out. Okay, now next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, take one of these boards, we're going to copy it. I suppose we could do it to them all, but just to keep it even simpler, we're going to copy that board over, and just anywhere like so. We're going to rotate that. So when it's red, on the end of it, click two points, and we're going to rotate that. Well, we could rotate it straight vertical, that would be one way. And then we can rotate it 15 degrees from that point. Or we could have done some math and did 90 take away 15, which would be 75 degrees, but let's rotate it 15. Now, next thing, we're going to grab on where we're going to want that board to go, which is right there, like so. Hopefully, no, maybe not quite. No, I'm a little off. So we're going to have to make a guideline. Or, yeah, let's just make a guideline. It's going to be the most foolproof way. So I'm clicking from any edge. Let's do that one. Rub it around get our tape measure tool and where that intersection is there and now we're going to get our move tool move it straight back there all right so all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this up so control we're going to copy it from there straight up to the end of that component orbit around to see that. And we're going to go 2x enter. And you see one thing here I don't really like. I don't like that gap. It looks kind of silly to me. So maybe instead let's get rid of this top piece completely. We can always bring it back if we want. And let's push this down. have to then, uh, let's, see. let's go back, keep this simple. Let's move this up to that point. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yes, there we go. Click on this line. There we go. Move this one up to that intersection. We're going to move this one. So what's the distance between these? Well, that's of course it's an oddball one. Let's move that. Um, 
Okay, let's undo that. Let's delete that piece. Delete that center piece. Let's delete the top piece as well. Let's delete that. We're going to start over with our array. Unfortunately, we're going to copy this piece. Up from that point, straight up to there. And we're going to divide that by two. Enter. And now they're perfectly evenly spaced apart. There we go. That's how that could look. All right. And we could have done the same with the seat boards. So if we want to go back and fix that, we can just to get them evenly spaced. We can take this one. We're going to copy it. Back. Yeah, let's go right there. We're going to divide that by two, enter, and there's our completed bench. I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. Uh, of course, all of these would be joined together with screws. We may need to put a little bit of a support in here, screwing all these pieces together, just because of that gap, that back piece might get to be a little bit too flimsy. Um, so if that is the case, we could do that. Uh, and what that might look like is just simply putting a piece of 2x4 in, 2x6 in. It's cut in to fit in there, or even a... Uh, we could double up this on the outside edge. So it would look more like that, which would mean extending up that top piece, but that would definitely make that pretty strong, and even probably even on a four foot span get rid of that center one then instead. So different ways to do it, this is about as basic as we can get for one with a, with a back, and I hope that makes sense for you. Remember for dimensioning, large tool set, show the length of everything that you need, and where those are located. All right, I hope that makes sense. If not, we'll have to find something more simple.